it's a big year. It's a big year because it's an Olympic year and you are a player who could participate in the Olympic Games. Is that the, the main goal right now? Yeah, I think that's top of my list right now. I know that we have one more camp and then uh, I think that's in our break week in June. And then, yeah, he does, decides early July. What would that mean to you? It would mean the world. I think growing up, at least for us, like I guess I always watched the women play at the Olympics, but I never, like we haven't qualified for. Well, that's know, why 12, you haven't watched the men play. Yeah, for like 12 years. It's actually been pr- pretty embarrassing. And yeah. to be the first yeah. group that is back would mm-hmm. be such a, not just to go to the Olympics, but to be on yeah. that group I think would be incredible. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's something special. I think all of us have, you know, thought about playing for our national teams um, at one point. And, you know, you two both got to, but uh, I haven't really gotten to represent my national team stage at meaningful competitions. Mm-hmm. It's always been friendlies and stuff like that, everything I've been a part of. So, yeah, it would be something special to be in Paris this summer. Would you get the Olympic rings tattoo if you... <sighs> I would think about it, man. Right? You kind of yeah. have to. I, yeah. think, I think that would be class. Yeah. 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 And go to the Olympics. Like, yeah. you got to commemorate it. I'm not a tattoo person, really. I, I don't yeah. have tattoos, yeah. but, like, I would have gotten that tattoo <laughs> if I went to the Olympics. Absolutely. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, okay, well, clearly, everyone's rooting for you. That would be amazing. Yeah, thank you. Um, and in just a couple of years, there's going to be a World Cup mm-hmm. here in the United States and Mexico and Canada. How do you feel like you get to that place where you are on the team come 2026? Yeah, there's there's a lot of things I still got to improve in my game, but I think, you know, a lot of people do see if you if you're scoring goals, your name's always in the headlines and then I think they pay attention to what what else you do. So for me, I I think that's one trait that I feel like I differentiate from other mm-hmm. midfielders is that I can add a lot of goals um and make an impact in games and especially with tournament style play where you know you need to win i i think i can win games for for teams so yeah i still got to do that and continue to get better on on both sides of the ball but um i i look at it as going back to all the basics from you know when eric boucher started teaching me all the stuff from when i was 10 or 11 um up till now you know if i just continue to work how i've been taught i think that will continue to take me to where i want to go